Hello there, and welcome to Water is Wet 101. On January 9th, we celebrate this day called Baptism of the Lord Sunday, and it really got me kind of thinking that like, if you're not entrenched in theology, or if you're not entrenched in like Methodist theology, you might miss why baptism is so important. Because really, if you just look at it, it's just like water. We say some words and we pour some water on somebody's head. And so I really wanted to talk some about baptism and really kind of try to answer this question of why is baptism so important? There's a long history of using water to cleanse yourself, not just cleansing your hands, but also like cleansing yourself of impurities, things not just on the outside, but also on the inside of if you're going to partake in certain rituals or practices. There's a lot of history about using water to make yourself pure, make yourself clean again. And John the Baptist, when he was in the Gospels, he was telling people, you need to repent, you need to believe, and he was calling people to be baptized. And for him, it was an outward sign of an inward change of heart. If you were repenting, you were turning away from something and you were going back to something else. You're repenting away from any sins, all impurities, and you were turning back towards God. That's what John the Baptist was talking about. For him, yet again, it was this outward sign, the cleansing of water, for this inward changing of heart. And Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist in the Jordan River. With Jesus being baptized, it became this big thing for us as Christians. And the great commandment, this is Jesus telling his disciples, um, he turns to them and he says, you need to go and make disciples of all nations. So he was telling his disciples this, you need to go and make disciples of all nations and you need to baptize them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. So that brings us kind of to today. This is a little bit about why baptism is so important to us. We see it in the Bible. We've seen it throughout history. So it brings us to today. So what do we believe as Methodists about baptism? For us as Methodists, baptism is an outward sign of an inward faith. When we are baptized, we're kind of acknowledging our shortcomings, we're acknowledging our sin, and we're repenting, and it also marks the beginning of our faith journey. Well, you might be asking yourself, because maybe you've come to a United Methodist Church before, maybe you've seen a baptism before, and a lot of times at UMCs, we baptize babies. And so you might be asking yourself, well, if acknowledging your shortcomings is a part of baptism, then how or why do you baptize babies. I mean, they can't even talk. Why are you baptizing babies? Well, there are two stories in Acts that involve inviting anyone of all ages to be baptized. But along with that, we believe that God has formed and created each person and that God has already given his justifying grace to them before they have any say in the matter. And because of this, we baptize babies. So you might be asking yourself, so if they're baptized as babies, then do they have to be baptized again when they are older, when they can fully like kind of comprehend and take part in what is going on? No, in the UMC, we don't baptize babies again. We actually don't baptize anybody again. And I get a lot of questions about this. And it's because we believe that once God has already done something, he does not undo it and he didn't partially do it to begin with. So once somebody has been baptized, there's no need to be baptized again because God has already done it. Hey guys, so you're telling me that if somebody gets baptized and then does a whole bunch of bad stuff that they're just good they don't have to get re-baptized. Well, I mean, there's always like the need for repentance and like asking for forgiveness, but we just don't see the need to like re-baptize them. I mean, God has already begun something in their life and like, yeah, we all make mistakes, but like, we also believe that like, if God has started something, God's gonna see it through, you know? God doesn't partially do things. And so we don't see the need to like re-baptize them. I mean, I just don't know about that. Well, do you ever make mistakes? I mean, yeah. So do you think you need to be baptized every time that you do something wrong? Every time? Yeah, I mean, can you imagine like if we had to get baptized every time we did something wrong or bad? Nah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now everybody that uses this stall is going to know that youth group is the best.
Hey JT, did you clean out Pierre's litter box like I asked you to? Uh. Um. Yeah. We all mess up and make mistakes. Right there. We all mess up and make mistakes. We don't see a need to be rebaptized, though. Instead, what you might see a lot in a United Methodist Church, and um, at my church that I go to, the contemporary service, they do this. Uh, we do like this remembering of your baptism. There's a bowl out in front, and as you come forward, you're kind of asked to touch it, and you can remember your baptism. And that's just like a way to say, remember the forgiveness that you have already been shown, and remember that God has already forgiven you. Remembering your baptism is a very cool practice in the church. It's one of my favorite ones, but you can also do it anywhere. You see, water is such an important part of our human existence. We interact with water every day. It gives us life. It's a source of power. It nourishes our planet and it keeps things clean. So next time you take a shower and you are feeling the water run over you, I invite you, remember your baptism. Remember the grace and forgiveness that you have been shown. And remember, you are called to show that same grace to the people in your life. So I hope you've learned something about baptism today. Maybe you didn't, maybe you knew all this. Um, and maybe you're saying, JT, there's a lot more about baptism that you didn't mention. And I just wanna say, yeah, but like that video would also be super, super, super long. Um, so I hope this video has taught you just a little bit about baptism. Maybe it's a little reminder for a lot of us. And like I said, I hope that you remember your baptism or if you haven't been baptized before, I invite you to reach out to me, whether in the comments of this video or you can email me at youthdirector at bpumc org and we could talk more about baptism and the forgiveness that God already has for you. Um, yeah. That was such a bad throw. <laughs>